Hey guys, Quartz Camel ADV. I uh, was just scrolling on Facebook today and I saw a thread that was something to the effect of, oh my God, Yamaha T7 chassis failures. I go, oh, what the hell is this? I've never seen that before. Scroll through it. Um, somebody from a rental agency, Ride ADV, or not Ride ADV, sorry, Ride ADV is Australia. This is Ride Adventure. Um, I don't know where they're located. Uh, that they did a T7 review video and they said that they had broken two um, frame rails on it and the frames were weak and dangerous. Um, I don't know the, uh, I don't know the, the YouTube person. I don't know the business. The bike's been out since 2019, early 2019 in Europe. So we're at four years. Uh, and I don't know how many of these, but how many tens of thousands of the bike they sold. Um, two, two of these failures reported from the same agency or the same person in four years. That's, does not a problem make in my um, in my mind, um, the, the, the chatter online, the social media has been that it's, you take a hit on the skid plate and it breaks the mounts because these are not actually frame rails. This is a stressed member arrangement here. So there's no engine cradle. These are just the skid plate mounting rails and they're not super strong. I'm the first to ad admit that, first to say that. Um, but you can absolutely ride the bike without them in there. The motor makes up a good chunk of the frame. That's almost every bike now that's made, is made that way, short of dirt bikes. Um, these guys are not super strong. That being said, I ride the wheels off this thing. Like, this is what we do to skid plates, right? Like. <coughs> We're, we're slamming into stuff, um, riding dirt bike trails on our adventure bikes, slamming into rocks and logs and ledges, and is it super smart? No, of course not, that's dumb. Um, but my friend group, there's a half dozen T7s, and we're all doing the same dumb shit. Nobody has broken frame rail, or frame rail. Um, bent a couple, I've bent a couple, had to replace them. They've bent in here. I had a crash at the Desert 100 last year. Um, hit a big rock right here. <laughs> Bent that. Pinched the rad hose, which is why this, um, this splice is in here, because it pinched the rad hose, lost the coolant. Um, and, and all of that, I never had anything crack. I don't know the guy, don't know the company, don't know what crash bars they run on their bike. I'm 100% sure that they run crash bars. Um, and if they don't, well, I'll eat my words. Uh, but I feel like the issue is caused by this type of arrangement here. These are heed crash bars, and I'm not shitting on them. I really like them. They work really well for me. It bolts to the frame rail um, up here, and then there's this long thing here that doesn't have a lot of strength, and then we have a tube that's pressing on the other tube. So my question is, how many times can you drop the bike and pound the crash bars into that tube and load it laterally before something breaks. Because in this arrangement, the tubes are supported back here. If you take a hit here, there's not really a lot of load up top. There's a bunch of load down here. We've bent frame rails in here. We've bent the aluminum mount down here. I've never had anything crack up there because there's not really a ton of load up there. <clears throat> but there is a ton of load when you're crashing constantly, rental bikes, right? Rental bikes, new riders, crashing constantly and side loading that. And we have the holes that are drilled here, which is the weakest point. Think of it like a, a parkour person or a gymnast or a CrossFit person. You can make your legs super strong and you can jump off of things that are, you know, 10 feet tall and land and you're good. But the second you side load that knee, you're done. There's no, there's no strength there. And that's what I think is going on. So I feel like any of the crash bars that either tie in, they might clamp onto the tube here, or they might just sit against the tube like this. It is a possibility after dust drops that you're gonna break that. So like I said, I don't know the bikes, I don't know the equipment they have, uh, but I am willing to bet whatever crash bars they have are tying into this tube, either with a clamp or they're butting up against the tube uh, like this style. And I fully expect if I drop my bike dozens and dozens of times on that side, 
and this is loading it, sooner or later, that's gonna give. That's not a problem with the bike. That is just wear and tear caused by abusing your shit. I wanna be 100% clear, I'm not shitting on Ride Adventure or the dude that did the video. Um, this is what I'm suggesting here is the only thing that makes any sense to me about that failure. Uh, just with the riding experience I have with this bike, we have beat the shit out of this thing and, and we have not seen anything like that. Um, so that's my take. Maybe yours is different. Thanks for watching. Ho <laughs> ho!